Hi, welcome to Cyprus. This is the stunning Aphrodite Hills Golf Resort. My name is Chris Ryan, and in this video, we're gonna help one of my subscribers with their golf swing. So as I was coming out to Cyprus, I asked for you to send me some of your swing videos so I could do a video to help you specifically with your game. Today's video is gonna be helping Neil McRae. Now, the reason I've chosen Neil for this swing analysis is because I think this video will apply to lots of you out there. So if we take a look at Neil's golfing, you'll see that Neil makes a pretty good backswing. For me, the lead arm gets a little bit too low, but if we look at the club face, the club face looks as if it's in a fairly decent position. So maybe we'd like to get that lead arm a little bit higher. However, as we start to move into the downswing, we start to see maybe where a few more of the issues happen. You'll notice that that club shaft starts to steepen a little bit quite early, and then the center gravity or the sweet spot of the club head moves outside of the hands a little bit too soon and whilst I don't have the data for this shot I'm guessing that the club path is going to be a little bit to the left and you'll notice that the exit point is a little bit too low so the club sort of when we see it again post impact gets a little bit close to Neil's left hip so the exit is a little bit low sweet spot sort of gets outside the hands a little bit too soon and I would suggest that Neil's going to have a club path which is to the left he's going to hit fade shots and he's possibly going to slice the longer clubs in the bag so We've got a really, really good drill that's going to help Neil, um, but let's just talk through his goal swing again first. So, as we said, for me, that the lead arm gets a little bit low at the top, but I say the club face is in a pretty good position. But from here, the club shaft steepens a little bit too much. And what I said there was the sweet spot of the golf club, so the club head moves outside of my hands a little bit too soon in that goal swing. From there, the path is most probably to the left of the target, and then we see the exit a little bit too low on the way through. So that's possibly for me gonna be a club path which is to the left. Now, the drill I'm gonna give Neil here is an over-exaggeration drill, but it's a great way to start to make some changes. So we're gonna call this parallel to parallel. Now this is actually a drill I picked up from uh, George Kankas in America. So many of you will follow him on Twitter, maybe, uh, sorry, Instagram. Many of you will know him as GG Swing Tips. He's got some fantastic drills to keep that club from steepening too soon. So here's what we're gonna get you to do, Neil. We want you to make a backswing and let's see if we can get the club shaft to around about parallel to the ground. It doesn't have to be. And what we're gonna try and do is gonna get you to move the golf club until this point here. So this is last parallel before impact. However, from the top to there, I always want the club shaft to be parallel to the ground. That's the drill. So you might well need a mirror to check this, but let's go through those two goal things. So top, and then we see the club shaft steepening. So that club is definitely not parallel to the ground, but again, here it's parallel to the ground, but the sweet spot is too far out that way. The drill would look a little bit more like this. We go up to the top, club is parallel, but as I start down, the club stays parallel to the ground. So all through that motion, the club shaft was parallel to the ground. What this is gonna do for Neil, it's gonna give him a really good sensation of keeping this right arm in a good position, keeping it externally rotated, and keeping the golf club on a much shallower angle. We'd like Neil to do this because this is gonna help him deliver the club. It's gonna help him use his body pivot much better. Ultimately, it's gonna help him improve his club path. Now, the only thing we would say here as a, a point to note is that we want to try and make that move with pretty good body shape. I don't want Neil to get to the top and keep it horizontal by extending his body, losing his body angles. So what we're trying to get Neil to do is go backswing and then feel like he rotates his body back to the ball trying to keep the club parallel to the ground at all points. Do you need to achieve this? Of course not. This is an over-exaggeration drill. Getting the club exactly parallel to the ground all the way through that process is not the goal. The goal is just to keep the club on a much shallower angle as we start the downsing. And for Neil, that's really gonna help him deliver the club more consistently. I believe that many of you will have the same issue. It is such a common trait amongst golfers who struggle. The club steepens too much in that early downswing and that affects them down at impact. So try the parallel to parallel drill. It's gonna give you a great sensation of keeping the shaft shallower, using the right arm better, and that's ultimately gonna help you hit the ball better. Hopefully that helps, Neil. 
let me know how you get on. Love to see your progress and if that does give you exactly what we're after, which is a little bit more consistent in your game. Let me hit one. I'm not going to be able to demonstrate exactly what I've just said because I sort of struggle with the same sort of issues that I tend to steepen the club shaft a little bit in transition. It's certainly something I'm working on improving. So let's have a go, see if I can hit this one up the fairway. Okay, but I'll certainly take that tee shot. Nice you at the middle, just a three iron, but that's gonna put me hopefully in good spot. Thank you for watching. Hopefully that helps Neil. Hopefully it helps many of you out there who are struggling with the same issue. Big thank you to Aphrodite Hills for having me out here for a few days. Thank you to Golf Breaks for making it all happen. All the usual stuff is down below this video. That's a comments box, that's a like button, and there's a link to subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. I would urge you to do so. More videos like this coming each and every week, helping you improve your golf game. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you again soon.